I'm Will Greenwald, and you're watching Loot Drop on Geek.com. It's now for another Loot Crate, and this month's theme is Invasion, and this is a really strong month. But that's partly because I'm a big nerd who loves the movie The Fifth Element. So, let's see what's inside the box. This is definitely Invasion-y. This is an X-Files t-shirt, and it goes with apparently a new season that it's... I'm just amazed they haven't actually rebooted it. It's actually just a continuation of this show that ended how long ago? The most adorable little face hugger plushie. It's a xenomorph. It's got a smiley face, and it comes with a oversized rubber band so you can make him hug your face. Isn't that great? Vinyl Space Invader. Hey, Invasion, Invaders. And also a video game, and it's blocky, and it doesn't glow, but I kind of want to drill into it, maybe put in some LEDs. It looks cool. More X-Files. A flashlight. It's all it is. It's just a flashlight. It doesn't like make an X-Files logo, although that would be cool, but it's always handy to have a flashlight, especially if you're being chased by lamprey men. And every month, Loot Crate comes with a pin. It's previously been sort of a uh, button type pin, but, and this is a start for a new year, very exciting, and a bit noisy with plastic, but they moved to a molded lacquer pin design, similar to uh, Penny Arcade pins if you visit PAX, and this is a nice pin. I love Fifth Element, so this is the most important part of the crate for me. It defines this as one of the best crates. Multi-pass. It's a multi-pass. It's sick. Uh, it's, you know, molded plastic. You can actually remove the card. And uh, I could actually put my own ID in here. Maybe with some modifications, but it's the multi-pass. It's great. And uh, one more thing. If all of that wasn't enough, how about two mini prints of uh, War of the Worlds and The Day the Earth Stood Still? Uh, nice sort of artistic styles. I don't know the artist or really any details about it, but they look cool. You can frame them. T-shirt, face hugger plushie, vinyl uh, alien figure, awesome multi-pass, new pin, mini prints, flashlight. That's a lot of stuff to come in one crate. But you can also level up Loot Crate to get uh, socks, accessories, a wearable, and Loot Crate was nice enough to send all that stuff for us to check out right here. And the wearable for the month, it's also the same invasion theme. And this is a Space Invaders pullover hoodie. It's uh, much lighter than, say, a hooded sweatshirt, it, but it's a, it's a good spring hoodie. And it's got aliens all over it. I'm not sure if the texture shows up, but yeah, they're Space Invader aliens. And there are socks. This is uh, just re regular you know, X-Files, like alien abduction socks. And uh, these socks are from Journey. It uh, doesn't show up too well right here, but kind of Argyle-like Journey uh, iconography. T-shirt, too. More Space Invaders. Just in time for February. Heart Invaders. The best is the accessory. A piece of jewelry. And one of the nerdiest things I've ever seen, and I say this as someone who still has his Starfleet Academy class ring from the Star Trek experience in Las Vegas, rest in peace. A friendship double locket with the Star Trek Delta Shield. And the two parts come together to say, I have been and always will be your friend. But there's other Loot Crate stuff too. There's Invasion, regular Loot Crate, level it up. But Loot Anime, second month, and this theme now is Enchant. And uh, this Loot Anime crate, it's pretty strong too. Let's start with the big thing, the scarf that apparently the main character of Fairy Tale wears. I'm not really familiar with Fairy Tale, but it's a nice looking scarf, and it's warm, and it looks like a spider web. Another t-shirt. This shows a bunch of anime characters. I, I know this one, I can find this out. Uh, yeah, Raka Braves of the Six Flowers t-shirt. I have never heard of it, but it's a nice looking t-shirt, and it's tagless, and that's always nice. And of course, a big poster illustration thing that doubles as a list of all the neat stuff the loot anime comes up with. From Kingdom Hearts, let's face it, 3 is never going to come out. This is Riku's Keyblade, Wait the Dawn, as a keychain. It's sweet. 
This is another pin. Uh, it's not part of Loot Anime. They have their own monthly thing that I'll be showing you in a second. But this is another pin. It's an uh, icon, logo, something from, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That is the name of an anime. And it's not remotely the weirdest anime name I've heard. If you like the uh, Miyazaki Studio Ghibli films, you might recognize these. Konpeto. Uh, this star-shaped sugar candy, traditional Japanese candy, and uh, dust spirits and monsters in, say, Spirited Away. Love this stuff. And it's also what the star bits in Super Mario Galaxy are based on. That this is a... It's a print of a magical girl. I don't know. Let's check that out again. Uh... Yeah, Madoka. I don't know what Madoka is. It's just a magical girl anime that's supposedly really good. Haven't seen it yet. I probably should if I'm going to keep talking about this stuff. Anyway, the monthly thing that comes with Loot Anime. Uh, loot Crate comes with a pin, and Loot Anime comes with, appropriately enough, a phone charm. Uh, we saw the original phone charm, the uh, metal one in the first Loot Anime. This is uh, similar metal, but a bit thicker and lacquered, and it is a uh, headphone plug, so you can just pop it in. And it's got the neat, you know, arcane designs on it, like a summoning circle, because this month's theme was Enchant. For more toys, collectibles, and things you can subscribe to, keep watching Loot Drop on Geek.com.